you know, they, they say, you know, okay, I have a 2% chance of getting it. But if you're that 2%, it's 100% to you. It's 100% to your family. It's 100% to everyone involved. Okay. And for, you know, the people, you know, that, that somehow say, you know, I, I don't want to get the uh, vaccine because of whatever, you know, risk it may be. And I don't want that risk also says that I think I have the right to refuse that. Okay, maybe you do. I don't think you do, but okay, say you do. Then you're also saying I have the right to infect you. I have the, actually the right to kill you because I can give you. 4.6 million people have died worldwide. Someone infected them. Right. Yeah, you it, don't know. It may not right. be right. what Someone infected them. And, right. and we, so if we look at, look at some of the data that's very compelling is Every year, about 200 children in the United States die of flu. It's unusual, but for those 200 people, right, their families, critical. So far in this pandemic, 500 children have died of COVID-19. It's unusual. It's rare. It's one out of 100,000 to one in a million children who will die. But for those families, it's 100%. And what we know about how traumatic for families the death of a child is, it's incredible. I mean, it is most most marriages don't survive the death of a child. Yeah. It is that traumatic. And so, again, it, it you can you can play the odds and say I'm not likely. It's it's very unlikely. I understand that it is. But for those families, it's a hundred percent.